bonjour and happy French Friday to you. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. You're watching French Farmhouse Flair and I'm Jessica. And if you are a subscriber, you know that I took a little break for the holidays. So I appreciate your patience with me. I took a little break to spend time with my family for the holidays and especially to spend time with my daughter before she left for France because uh, she is going to France to work and to study abroad. So uh, she will be working as an au pair there. And uh, I miss her so much. I know if you have had a child leave the nest for the first time, it is so hard and you miss them so much. And especially when they leave to go out of the country, you worry about them even that much more. So, Anyways, we won't go there because I'll get all emotional talking about it. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to take some time to be able to spend with her before she left. And so I appreciate your patience with me. And today we are working on this French country candle wall sconce. And it will look like this when we're done with it. I did this one first and off camera and I'm going to show you how I how I went about doing this and uh, doing this uh, look and whoops my little thing fell off here let me fix that and then I'll show you what it looks like okay my little hooks came off so I had to fix that but this is what it looks like all done and you know after it's been painted and distressed and everything so I'm going to show you uh, how I how I went about um, painting this distressing it and um, how I did this the wood beaded part down here in the bottom and then I will also want to insert some pictures for you that my inspiration for this French country candle wall sconce so I will insert those pictures um, right here for you to see. Okay, so my candle wall sconce doesn't look exactly like the inspiration pictures, but I think this is a great option to be able to recreate something that looks very similar for a whole lot uh, less money because those uh, candle sconces that I shared with you, those can get pretty pricey. And so... Like I said, this is just a cheaper option if you wanted to recreate that same um, similar look. So uh, we are going to go ahead and get started. But first, uh, I just wanted to mention that you can find usually find these um, French country looking uh, candle wall sconces on uh, Etsy usually has them or eBay. Uh, you can sometimes find them on there. And also you may want to check like your Facebook marketplace. You may get lucky or even thrifting. If you get lucky enough to find them at a thrift store, that would be awesome. So just um, to give you a few ideas if you did want to recreate this look, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so first off, I am going to be using this antique uh, parchment color in the apple barrel paint. I love that it is a matte finish. That's what I wanted. And it's quick drying and easy cleanup. So I love that. And so I will be using this first. And it took three coats of paint, of this paint, um, for the first one that I did. So uh, depending on what kind of paint you use, it may take less than that. But uh, I will be doing three coats of this just to uh, let you know. Okay. 
Okay, while we're waiting for our first coat of paint to dry, we are gonna go ahead and get these wood beads glued together. And you're gonna need to glue two of them together, like I've already done here on these. And there comes eight in a package, which is perfect for two uh, candle wall sconces. So I've already used four of the beads and we have four more uh, left and that we're gonna go ahead and glue, get those glued up right now. And I'm just gonna use the wood glue that I already had. Uh, and I purchased this one from the Dollar Tree store, but you can use any wood glue that you have on hand at home. So let's go ahead and get these glued up. Okay, our first coat is dry. And so while we're waiting on our beads, to set up and dry, we are going to go ahead and get a second coat on our candle wall sconce. Okay, while our second coat is drying, we are going to uh, go ahead and get ready to put our little hooks in our into our wood beads. So what you will need is two little hooks, and I just used little uh, Christmas ornament hooks for this project. And you will need to put a hole in the top of your wood bead, and we are going to glue your little hook into the top of that wood bead. Now, I did the first two right, and I put my hole in first before I glued them, and I did these the wrong way. So you're going to want to put your hole in the larger wood bead in the top before you glue them together. So um, you can do it either way, but I think it's easier to do it before you glue them together. So uh, we're gonna do that next, and then we will um, glue our little hooks in after we get our holes put in our beads. They're calling those um, caps, so I guess I should call them cap um, instead of beads, but I don't know why, I just wanna call them beads. But um, let's go ahead and get started. And you want to use something that's sharp and pointy. Uh, you can use whatever you have on hand. You could use an ice pick if you'd like or any kind of sharp little tool. What I had on hand was this uh, meat thermometer, so I'm going to use that. And that worked well for the first um, two that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next two. Okay, now that I have my hooks uh, in, I'm gonna go ahead and paint. The wood part here has no finish on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the black matte uh, finish on the uh, wood part so that when I distress these, that this darker black uh, matte color will show through. The cream color here that I have, this antique parchment. So I will do one coat of the black and then one coat of this antique parchment on top of that. And then I will uh, paint the hooks as well with the antique uh, parchment uh, color paint here. And uh, we'll go ahead and start on that now. Okay, the second coat is dry. I'm getting ready to do the third coat, and I apologize if the lighting isn't the best right now. It's gotten dark outside on me, so um, sorry about the lighting. And uh, I will definitely give you a better look at these uh, tomorrow when the lighting is better. 
and so you can see where exactly I put them as well. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the third coat on now. Okay, here is the finished product. I am so happy with how these French Country Candle Wall Sconces came out. And I think it goes so well with my chandelier that I have here, this French Country chandelier above my dining room table. Love how they look together. And uh, I'm really tempted now to add the wood beads to my chandelier because I think originally they actually had it, but I bought that chandelier on Facebook Marketplace. So let me give you an up close shot and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here is that little round metal piece I was telling you about on the arm of the chandelier and each arm has the little round metal hook on it so that I could actually hang uh, the little wooden beads from there and I've seen these type of chandeliers before in the store and in magazines and they typically do have those hanging down and so I think it would look really nice uh, with that added to it so that may be a future DIY project that I tackle okay friends here they are I think they do look so pretty lit and again I'm very happy with them I hope that you enjoyed this video too and that you got some kind of inspiration from it. And until next time, friends, I will see you next Friday. Come back and see me. Most likely I will be decorating for Valentine's Day, getting ready for that because I want to start doing that as soon as possible so that I can give you ideas for decorating for Valentine's as well. So until then, friends, we'll see you in the next one. Au revoir.